three, two, one, go. Uh, hi, um, this is V6 Times. I'm Kuiper Ball. Um, it starts off with a cutscene, uh, but right away, I'm going to exploit the main uh, exploit of the game, which is the R button, which allows you to reset yourself to the last checkpoint. Uh, but since this is the start of the game, we haven't hit a checkpoint yet. Uh, so it takes us out of the cutscene and places us back in the spaceship. And so we can start, instead of the level we meant to start from, we start from the spaceship. So we can do the levels in our own order. Uh, right now we're just picking up some of the overworld trinkets. This is 100%, so we complete the game with all 20 trinkets. Uh, what I do here is just grab this teleporter here, because I'm going to use it later. So we use R a lot as well to save time. Instead of walking back to checkpoints, we just kill ourselves and we're back. Oops, hang on. I haven't warmed up yet. <laughs> uh, so we're making our way to the first zone, uh, which is the warp zone. It's a bit confusing, uh, gets really confusing. Alright, here, some kind of maze. Um, there's a trinket locked away in here, just over here. Um, and now we enter first kind of dungeon area, I guess, uh, uh, where you kind of, some walls wrap around, some walls don't. Alright, I'm gonna try and aim for the skip there. So that level used to be really hard to me, but I realized you can just <laughs> walk in, jump twice, and you just clear the uh, obstacles really easily. Here's the first, like, tough trinket of the game. Um, here we are. Easy peasy. And this is my least favorite level, because this jumper right here is really annoying. But we got a first try, so I'm happy with that. And that's the first uh, crew member saved. Uh, um, so immediately, we're going to exploit um, a thing called tele-jumping, which is teleporting and uh, killing yourself at the same time, which allows you to move freely uh, as you teleport, so you can glitch into a wall um, and kind of traverse the, uh, the overworld a bit, easy, a bit quicker. Uh, there was a line clip right there. Uh, there's only a few of those in the game. Basically, um, I mean, all we have to do is spam jump really fast. 
It's basically you're flipping on the right frame where, where the line forces you to turn around. If you hit the right frame, uh, you can glitch straight through the, the line. So here's, here we come to a tricky jump. We have to, yeah, okay. <laughs> so I grabbed the checkpoint there because we want to reset back to it and it's a lot, saves time. Uh, even though we have to go out of our way to grab it, saves time uh, moving on. Second crew member done. Uh, we've got a cool little glitch coming up. Uh, cool little visual glitch. Um, we're gonna grab the free trinket from Victoria here. Uh, so if you kill yourself during that cutscene, you end up upside down. Um, and it's, stay like this for... whoops. Alright, I wasn't meant to jump there. Right. <laughs> there, alright. <laughs> We're gonna do another... Tully jump here. Get into the wall here. Um, you'll also notice I'm a television as well. As well as being upside down. Um, this is the tower, which is like the the auto scroller section. It does scroll pretty fast, so you can't really uh, slack slack about. Um. So in here we're gonna uh, kill ourselves to make it scroll faster. As soon as we hit the checkpoint, if we hit the checkpoint. <laughs> uh, it's not worth it there. It only saves like a few frames, but uh, but uh, VVVs are pretty. Um, Run times have gotten pretty good, so it's pr uh, any sa any frames you can save are always welcome. <laughs> I knew I was going to hit it, but uh, all right. Sadly, we have to say goodbye to Upside Down Man. Um, so right here is the first intermission. Uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, you'll see that... Well, it's, um, that your pal here uh, is following you. Um, and you listen to your instructions. So provides an interesting challenge. It can be a bit frustrating at times because sometimes he just runs into spikes.
like this wall here, if you don't go slow enough, you'll just run straight into it. easy. Um, so here we can save time by resetting ourselves. Instead of walking back up, we can just reset ourselves and he follows us anyway. Um, I hope we're going to try... Uh, okay, we got it there. Um, so what we did, try and tele jump here so that when it fades to black, kill ourselves again and we spawn in the wall. I have no idea why it works, but <laughs> and why it spawns you there, but it does. Eh. I think it's to do with where the intermission takes place. It's not on the actual overworld map. It's somewhere else. Uh, we come to this interesting room here. Making our way to s the space station, which is probably the most difficult and like and part of the run. This is where you can lose the most time because there's a lot of hard trinkets in this section. Right, I'm gonna, hopefully, I get this. Thank you. All right. It took me like five tries in practice. I just couldn't get it for some reason. All right. The window just closed. All right. All right. So this is probably <laughs> the most annoying um, trinket. You have to pretty much like frame, almost frame perfect, flip onto the underside of that. Second try is not too bad. I mean, it's pretty good. I'll take under five tries, I mean. You can fast cycle the clouds there. Alright, now the I'll just wait for it, that's right. <laughs> We're moving on to probably the most infamous section of the game, uh, which is doing things the hard way, or Veni Vidi Vici. Um, we're going to try once without grabbing this checkpoint so we can save time. If I don't get it the first try, I'm going to be real sad. There we go. Easy peasy. I'm glad that happened because uh, the last run I did, I lost about a minute because it took me like five tries to do. Um, so we moved from Space Station 2 into Space Station 1 because we need to grab the trinkets that we skipped by killing ourselves in the first cutscene. So luckily there's a hole in the level that allows us to transition between the two. Um, just showing us a already filled map. So we avoid that checkpoint on that screen so we can spawn back up there and save some time. Gotta wait for this guy. 
Uh, we're going to make our way back to the end of Space Station 1. Uh, where there's uh, pretty much a game breaking uh, bug. So I'm out of time there. Alright, try and. Alright, I'll do it a little slower. <laughs> I was trying to flip from the top side of the platform onto the ledge there, but I'm not great at it. Alright. So, this is the end of Space Station 1. Um, and now, because we're doing a Mount of Order, it thinks we just finished the first level, but what we're going to do is buffer the reset button, so we can, because generally a, a uh, cutscene plays there. Like one, two, three, four, five. A cutscene plays there, and if you let it play, if you don't, if you don't buffer the reset there, um, it'll play, and it'll basically reset the game back to as if you've saved nobody. Uh, so basically, you, you lose the run. Um, uh, that's unlucky. We're trying not to hit any. Because I, I have to go back to. Oops. <laughs> and I have no idea how to get back. Alright. <laughs> Basically, we're on the run here, but. <laughs> We'll try and get back. Actually, I can. I can do this. I'll just. Uh, what we're gonna do? It's gonna take too long to do that. Let's try it again. We need to. The only way you can grab that checkpoint is by not grabbing any of the other checkpoints on on the way there. So this is the last person we need to save. Um, but after this is the final final challenge. Oh, it's a pretty good run so far, apart from that. Uh, stuff up at the end there. Well, I'll try and get a flawless uh, final level. Final level is like basically just like a recap of all the things, all the levels so far. I guess it's not the most challenging uh, level. So you can jump off the the ledge there, do skip a cycle, so you don't have to wait for the. So you can move into the the balls there. Now we now we enter party time. Alright, here's where line clips come back into there we are. It's a lot easier than making some precise jumps. Almost a zero death. Uh. All 
All right, final challenge. Not too challenging. Unless... <laughs> wow. The easiest part of the whole map and I die twice. Here we go, and time is when it says game complete. Was that VV 100%? <laughs> it's pretty decent run. It would have been nice to get under 19 minutes, but <laughs> missed it by that much.